Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So in today's episode, we're going to do the Slime God again, but we're changing a few things up. So I noticed from the comment section, a lot of you were pointing towards wings. I mentioned it in a previous episode and we couldn't get any because I didn't have bones. Well, I now have bones. I don't actually have the feathers yet though, so we need to go get them. And then I'm also going to be using a weapon that was recommended to me called the Hell Wing Staff. Now, the cool thing about making the staff is you can actually use it in a larger staff crafting recipe at the end of the game. So I thought if we get a start on it now, then, you know, it's good because this is the first part of it. So that's what I want to do today. I want to get a brand new weapon and I also want to get some wings. And then I have some things to chat about today because it's been, what's it been? It's been two days since my last episode. So I've got some things to say, some cool things. Um, what was I looking for? There we go, a water candle. So, first off, let's go get the feathers. I need four of them. So, my first thing to say. So, I asked you guys in the last episode what I should do when I take a holiday. Because I'm going to be away for a week in about... Well, look at here now. It's about... Ooh, how long is it? It's, it's 20 something days. I'm going to be away in like 20 days. And I was asking you guys, what do I do for a week? Because I don't want to record the Calamity mod. Because if I make a mistake, then I'll pre-record everything and we won't be able to fix it for a week. And then obviously I don't want to be, you know, thinking of that while I'm on holiday. Thinking, oh no, I've let everyone down. So, you guys actually recommended to do the Juiced mod. And then I may as well add the Crystallium mod, which I covered on Chippy Gaming. So, two mods that I've done on Chippy Gaming, I'll do that as like a tiny playthrough for a week. We'll just do it for a week, see what happens. Just check it out a little bit more in depth, because some of them have bosses, some of them don't. It'll be, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to film it yet. I might film it so that it's like a full playthrough in seven episodes, so I use a lot of jump cuts and stuff, just to show the modded stuff. Because I think that'd be a nice week break. Because then, like, you've got, like, good content for a week. And it's something I can pre-record well. So, that was the first thing. So, thank you to uh, the people that suggested that. They got a big, fat heart in the comments and everyone liked it. So, I really appreciate it. And then, what was the second thing? Do you know what? <laughs> I actually can't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, that was the second thing. I was going to say, sorry if I'm tired today, guys. I, uh... I spent last night staying up and playing some Crash Bandicoot because I've been debating all week whether to buy the, the you know, the new remastered, the Insane Trilogy, but it's, uh, it's like £35 in Britain, and uh, I haven't played Crash in so long, I was a big fan, so I decided last night I'm going to just play through the original games because they were my favourite, and as much as I like remasters, you can never be an original, right? So that's what I've been doing. Whoa! What is that? A sky glaze. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen this in the uh, Calamity mod. Oh, I've got two of them. <laughs> right, I'm a moron. Must have picked that up when I was talking about Crash or something. What is this then? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. 11 magic damage. Fires feathers from the sky that stick to enemies and tiles and explode. Cool. Cool, that's awesome. Right, now the good thing about the... Uh, let's... Oh, you know what? That is actually a really nice like starting weapon. Is it a material? It's not a material. But that is pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, um, the reason I want to get wings is because in the fight, the two times we died, we actually died from fall damage. Because it was suspending us up in the air. Then that's what was killing us. So, Skyline Wings. Awesome. I'm going to reforge these real quick. And then we'll move on to the second part of today's episode, which is the Hell Wing Staff. Which actually shouldn't be too hard to get. It's just going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of mining today. But then I'll even it out with a boss fight, so... You know, just making sure everything's a little bit action-packed. Movement speed is nice. I'm going to go for something different. Yeah, I'll go for damage. And then I'm going to replace the clown in a bottle. Now, I don't like doing this because I've gotten used to the jump height. But this will stop me taking fall damage, so it is better. Right, let's see here. So we need to be down here grabbing some obsidian and... Well, actually, we need, uh, we need hellstone bars. So I'm going to need uh, some hellstone, essentially. So we've got to go to hell today. So I need two buckets of lava and seven hellstone bars, which really isn't that much. I tell you what, though, you're going to see a different chippy from now on with these wings. <laughs> when I don't get fall damage, everything is better. Everything is awesome. Oh, my God. Now I'm just thinking of the Lego movie. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go over here. Down here. So it is all about following the path today because I actually have a pretty solid route to hell. I mean, I'm just going to kind of just follow the way it goes. 
Because I kind of want to get this done as quick as possible. You know, getting the weapon and such. So that we can spend more time uh, doing the boss fight and adjusting for it. Now, in the last episode, we did die to the uh, to the Queen Bee. And I think we can all agree, the reason I died was because I was a moron. And I triggered the, I triggered the boss fight too early by placing a, a torch or whatever. But that said, I think I could easily do it if I had a nice little arena. So maybe we can do that. Maybe today. I don't know. I don't know how long this mining section is going to last. I always try and keep my episodes down to a, a watchable length. I don't like them going on too long. Okay. Alright, let's dig some of this up. So, I can't remember how much obsidian you need per bar. That's actually something we can look up now, thankfully. So, let's see. Let's get rid of wings out of the title. <laughs> right. I always think that that clears text, but it doesn't. Okay, where's my uh, obsidian? Alright, so to make a hellstone bar, you need... Oh, God damn it. Camera mode, really? How do I get out of this? Uh, you need... Oh my God, I did it again! Oh no. Okay, what do you need? You only need one piece, and then three pieces. So we're going to need uh, 21 pieces of hellstone ore. And we already have the obsidian. Okay, that's awesome. Right. And we can come back later on and get more hellstone. You know what I mean? It's not like uh, exclusive to just today. We'll do a... When I get some obsidian potions, we'll do a proper dive for some hellstone. Okay, now what is this water going to do? Are you going to... Oh, wow! It actually evaporated. You see, it's meant to evaporate, but I've had so many worlds where it doesn't actually evaporate. It just sticks around. Okay, so one thing I do need to get is a forge. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to be on the lookout for one of those. It's a little bit dark here today. I'm rocking the uh, the texture pack I showed off on Chippy Gaming, the one that changes the uh, the depths. A lot of people are confused because in the video, you can see an increased amount of clouds. See, that's not the point of the texture pack. The point of the texture pack is to add depth. But I don't think I did a very good job showing it, if I'm completely honest. Okay. Um. Right. Alright, so I've got everything from... Oh, no, let me out of there. Alright, so I've got everything out of there. So we need to go to another part. So I might come up here and grab this little sliver of, uh, of ore up here. Okay, so we'll grab this. Oh, I really need my mushroom thing to just sort it out. Come on, dude. Right, I've only got 73 life left. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so how much uh, hellstone do we have? We have 14 pieces. Well, I need 21. 7, 14, 21. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if that will bring that hellstone to me. Okay, so that makes 18. Let's see if I can get these. So that's 20, and this will make 21. Okay, so now it's just all about finding the forge, which shouldn't actually be too hard. I just have to make sure I don't die. Hmm, let's see. My eyesight's going all, uh, my eyesight's going all funny, right? So, uh, if you guys, oh, there you go. So, like, some water did appear. If you guys don't know, I wear glasses, but I don't have to wear them all the time. And I've just worn them for the past few hours because I was doing some driving lessons. And now they're all funny because I've taken them off. I might put them back on. There we go. Come here. Time for... Should be putting on his glasses. And... Uh, oh my god. Okay. There we go. We're fine. <sighs> Phew. Got out of that one alive. Right. Let's put this down. Make up our, uh, our hellstone bars. So we've got seven of them. And we have two buckets of lava. So that's everything we need. Like, bang on. Alright, this is awesome. So come over here. And... Here it is. So it's the Hellwing Staff. It does 29 magic damage. It's a slow speed, average knockback, uses 15 mana, and unleashes pillars of flames. Oh, that's cool. So I, I haven't seen it in action properly, so that's my first time seeing it. Nice. So I didn't know whether the person recommending it only recommended it because of uh, what it said on the Wikipedia page and had not actually seen it. So good call. It looks good. All right, Demonic is awesome, but I'm going to go for something better. Uh, what do you get? What's the best for magic? I always get confused. Okay, well, it's definitely not that or that. Masterful? I'll go with Masterful. Sure. So that takes up to 33 magic damage. Let's try it out on one of our, uh, our 
target dummies because we've got a DPS meter, haven't we? All right, so what's that getting? That's getting like two, 220. That's not bad. All right, and then we'll go with this one. It's getting a little bit more. Maybe because of the way it hits it. I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll give this one a go. We'll give it a go. Right, so I'm going to buff up and we're going to try this one again. Now, what got me last time was that little effect where it like slings you into the air. So if that happens, I probably will fail this one. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. And somebody said, oh, oh, okay. Ah. Got you. Somebody was like, use the mini map to uh, to see where it's coming from. Oh, that's that's clever, man. That that thing is large on the mini map. Okay. Oh, oh God. Right, my mana keeps running out with this one. All right, I may go back to my old weapon. I don't know. It seems like it works a little bit better. Okay. Uh. Right. Um. Okay. Oh, God, this fight is hard, man. All right, I'm just going to do my best to concentrate. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm going to do my best to concentrate. Dies immediately. All right. Well, the Hellwing staff was good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it was uh, it was better or not? I don't know. I think maybe the slow speed kind of ruined it for me. I don't feel like I was doing that much. You could hear my microphone creak. That's not good. Um, I don't think you could. I don't know. I'm trying to get my words out. I don't think because of I think because of its speed, it really like let it down. Like it was more powerful, but it shot so slowly. Maybe it just wasn't the right weapon, or maybe my my aiming was off. You know, I didn't even think about that. It probably was. Right. So for the rest of this episode, because I am an absolute failure with the slime god, we're gonna go and do uh, we're gonna go and do Queen B because I want to get it out the way. I want to get it off the checklist. So it'll be nice to do. Now I don't have a queen bee biome, so I'm gonna have to just see what I can find. Essentially, we're gonna go down there so we can find. I mean, there's always things down there that we uh, we haven't checked out yet, so we can always do that. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's really awesome having a, a comment section. This is why I didn't want to. Uh, this is why I didn't want to film calamity, you know, for a week without you guys. Because, like, when I asked you guys, hey, what should I do for a week? And you guys gave me some amazing ideas. Like, I don't know if I would have thought of that on my own. So I really appreciate it either way. So that's why it's nice to have a comment section, without a doubt. Alright, so I've got to try and think of new ways to go through this jungle that we haven't been yet. To try and find this, uh, this biome. Have I opened this up before? Okay, it's a flare gun. <laughs> Alright, let's leave it behind. Um, Alright, so that's our temple. Okay, well that's interesting to know. So that's a full-on temple. Now what is this? Is there a queen bee biome anywhere near here? I might cut through this just a little bit just to see what is here. Because I thought, oh, okay, it's this copper ore. I saw something on the map and I was like, oh, that kind of looks like it could be it. Um, let's let's have a little look at the side. Okay, so that's more ore. So that is a full-on biome. So I'm guessing if it's anywhere, it's probably going to be around here. Let's go to our old one and see if we can uh, see if we can see anything. Because if I cut through there, I can go up to a new part which we haven't been to yet. But oh god, as if I lost this one, <laughs> it would have been such a nice win as well. Can't believe it. I'm still salty about it. I'm still getting over it. <laughs> Okay, let's go up here. Hey, heart crystal. Awesome. That's already good. Let's go and grab that. Uh, let me up here. Come on, dude. There we go. Getting used to wings today. That's my new thing. So, which way do we go? I'm guessing we go up. Hey, there's that. I may check this out just to see if it's anything like a uh, walk walking boots. Okay, up here. Let's see. All right, it's feral claws, but I will take them. I'll take the jester arrows too, just because that's a little bit uh, better for us. So let's see. I think I think the best course is. I know it involves a lot of digging, 
Oh, look, there's another heart crystal. I really do feel like it's just the best course is probably just to, to look around a little bit. So I'm going to look around. I'll do a little jump cut if I find one. And then you guys can, uh, can kind of skip this part. <laughs> All right, so I think I have found something. I was a little bit confused at first because I saw the torch and I was like, wait, that's not a bee biome. But this is actually a, uh, a bee biome with a little like uh, chest area in it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really new to me. That's cool. I bet you guys probably have. I mean, there are so many people out there. There's so many random combinations in Terraria. Every time I see something new, I'm like, yeah, probably someone's seen it. <laughs> okay. Right, so I don't want to do what I did last time, and that is trigger it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bin some... Oh, do you know what? I should probably keep that blighted gel. I'm going to bin the aerolite, the seeds, the obsidian, the ash, the cobwebs, the honey. All right, that's good enough. And then I'm going to make up a bunch of platforms. So I'll make some boreal ones and some normal ones. And let's see here. Oh, have I got confusion on? No, okay. Just have my finger on the keyboard wrong. Right, let's see. Where would be best? It's probably actually here, to be honest. Probably around here. So, I'll do platforms up to there. Okay, I don't feel safe with that fungal clump. Okay, and then I'll do platforms here. Like this. So this is Revengeance mode, and we have seen this fight. It is actually quite tricky. And then I'm going to do there. Sorry, there. Okay, and then while I've got a little bit of extra materials, I may as well put down a campfire. And that is good enough. So I've got an area to dodge. I actually wish this was a little bit higher now that I've done it. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit higher. But anyway, I've got an area to dodge. And I've got an area to heal, and then I've got an area where I can quickly get some honey. And because of my uh, wings now, we can quickly ascend out of the honey. So, like, before it was dead slow. Now we can just get out while also getting our buff. So that's good for me, right. So I'm going to do these to about here. Like this. Just because we have quite a tall jump. And I want to make sure I give enough room for it to just kind of uh, parade through. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use the mini map for this fight. I don't usually like to. But I'll use the mini map just to uh, to get a better understanding of everything. Alright, so I feel like that is good. I'm going to buff up. I may use this. And we'll see what happens. Oh, look at me. Already forgetting to, uh, to do it. Oh my god. Right, okay. Calm down. Right. Um... It's not going too bad so far. I mean, at least I've got a little bit more life. You know what? As much as I like the minimap, I equally hate it. Isn't that bad? Okay. Just got to remember what I'm up against. It's only a queen bee. Okay. Come on, fungal clump. Do your thing. Alright, he's doing good at taking him down. I'll tell you what, he's good at taking down the bees, for sure. Ooh, that one was close. I keep leaving it too, uh, I keep doing it too early. I'm getting angsty. Look at me. Right, we'll use this for a little bit. Let's we'll see what this does. You know what, I might swap between so then I get a little bit of the buff. Okay, back into the honey pool we go. I'm gonna heal up now. So that's probably gonna be our only heal throughout this fight. It's going well. Fungal Clump, you're doing a good job here, dude. You kind of let me down last time, so I'm appreciating this fungal pump. Okay. Oh my god. So they've actually updated the Wikipedia page. Somebody was writing a comment. They've actually updated the Wikipedia page with everything that Revenge Mode does to bosses. But I've left it alone, because I, I don't want to know. Oh my god. I kind of want to just enjoy it, if you know what I mean. Okay. Oh no. Wow, this fight is actually really hard. <laughs> Look at me. If I don't die now, I'm going to die of poison anyway. Look at me. I'm di I'm going to die. Oh, my God. I I'm so bad at that. Do you know what? And I was like, you know what? We'll make episode uh, episode 10 a little bit better. I won't die. I won't, I won't die like this. And I, I done died. 
like a like a moron <laughs> right that's gonna do it for today's episode guys thank you all for watching if you have any more tips be sure to leave them down below i'll see you all tomorrow with another episode i'm trying to free up some time by the way to carry on with the thorium mod i know i started the thorium mod and then just left it for a little while i left it because it wasn't updated and then when i came back to it i was kind of like well i'm already kind of a little bit deeper into calamity and i want to leave it like that but now I've got a bit of extra free time. I do want to get back into Thorium. All my series will be completed though at some point. And I'm really like thankful that all of you are so patient. And uh, it's not to disrespect any other mods or anything like that. It's just... I don't know. I mean like... I don't know. It's, it's always It always depends at the end of the day on how what I feel like recording on the day. And sometimes it's Calamity and sometimes I get a little bit of an itch for Thorium. So I don't mean to offend anyone or any kind of modding community. But yeah. Have a great day everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.